All right, good morning. It is, what are you doing, Omar? You wanna play? I gotta do this. We got this big box in the mail. Look at this big box that came. Come on, come downstairs. Omar, look at this shit. There's toys everywhere. Here, take your goddamn frisbee. It is uh, Wednesday, the 28th of April. I've got a lot of shit going on this week. A lot of appointments and stuff. Matt Sager was in town, it was great. We didn't vlog, really. We went to Area 15, the Omega Mart, Meow Wolf. What the fuck? We had some food. Sager's in town. OG vibes. You're, you got hit by a car and Sager's in town. <laughs> the Sager bomb in Vegas. Chilling. Korean barbecuing. Thank you. When Sager's in town, all we do is eat. All we do is eat. <laughs> Caught up. It was great to see him. I'm sure he'll be back. You know, it's been a while. If you're new to this channel, then you know, you're not used to this, I guess. But these boxes used to show up pretty much all the time. A lot of people ask me, Teddy, how do you keep a box for so long without opening it? Well, I think I got jaded in opening stuff and not being excited um, in general for a lot of reasons. One reason, legal purposes bum me out. Second reason, things in boxes started to get disappointing. So, you know, I just stopped. You know, whatever. You guys know the story. There's been some new things happening. I've tried to mend this relationship. It's hard, it's hard dealing with big companies, basically. You know, a lot of things slip through the cracks. Even me, you know, even me got slipped through some cracks when it comes to the company. So I'm trying to rectify this. I don't know if they're gonna play ball, but we'll see what happens. But regardless, let's get this bad boy cut open. Aw, oh, shit, son. All right, end of the video. See you next week. All three colorways from this drop. That is not even out yet. Not a flex, just a fact. This is a new box for me. I don't know, Ultra Boost 1.0 DNA. Shout out to Packer Shoes for sending these to me. So the ZX is super popular. I'm not gonna, I don't know all the facts. There's like a whole culture to just ZX. But this is like the cool part about Adidas shoes in the 80s is the colorways. And at the time, the comfort, the technology, you know, they're making innovations. Here's the first one, dog. These are fucking sick, son. Yeah, super stretchy 1.0. Got the suede toe guard, plastic cages, regular, regular, regular 1.0 Ultra Boost. Oh, they gave a little reference to the torsion. This is the ZX8000 reference. Like, I mean, I love this fucking shoe. So it's classic. The only real addition is this little strap that he's probably 3M. I haven't been excited about shoes in a long time. There hasn't been anything like this. There's been no project like this. So it is nice to see effort put forth into something to get people who are fans of it, like something to be excited about. I think what I appreciated about the Ultra Boost at the time is that it was a smaller niche market and people didn't love it and then it just kind of blew up and then it got, it just didn't go well, you know. So, uh, all right, so next pair. Suede Guard, I mean, some people are not gonna like the Suede Guard, but like, again, sure, I mean, I guess personal preference. I don't know, I think this pair, it helps balance out the shoe just because it's an off, white not the actual you know the actual color off-white kind of pre-yellowed boost which fits the vintage look so i don't i don't dislike it the fucking stripe colorway mix match is super sick zx6000 and a white pair of shoes dog i had a white pair of shoes in a hot minute i should remove this before it becomes a problem yeah these baby boys. And then we got the ZX9000 reference, which is an also yellowed boost, uh, pre-yellow look, but it's just colored, so it's just that color. It's not like actually pre-yellowed. And another super clean, sick colorway. Like these are all dope. These all work with a pair of black jeans, you know what I mean? And that's just like how I like living, or a pair of black joggers or whatever. All black everything except the shoes, baby. These are all super clean, man, like so summery. So the summertime vibes for sure. To give you the reference point and to save myself some work, uh, the ZX6000. So there's your 6000. ZX9000. Because I don't want to wear the ZX. I'm not, you know, that's the thing, like culture of the of Adidas, like, it's self-contained vacuum culture. I like the old reference. I've always liked the neon shit, but I want comfort and I wouldn't be mad at a 2021 release like this because the 2021 is so comfortable. Like so, so comfortable. Perfect, they like, make you thirsty. You know what I'm saying? Looking at these just make you thirsty.
next little closer look here are the ZX6000, the white, green, red. Not these, but originally the colors coordinated with the function. I don't know, the exception. You know, like some were good for like wide foot and some were good for sublimated feet or, you know, whatever it is, like whatever ailment serves you. There was supposed to be a ZX for anybody. But, you know, you want to go trail hiking, whatever. There's a, there's a ZX for you. Uh, but this is the 6,000 colorway. And you have the 8,000 colorway, the 9,000 colorway. But what I think is like the most important thing to note about the ZX iteration of the Ultra Boost is A, they have put out ZX shoes that have boost in them. They came out, there was really no advertising, but then people started reporting they had boost. So Adidas has done that where they haven't really told people what's in the shoes, but like this colorway shoe in the newest retro has boost in the shoe. They did a ZX boost that I don't love just in general. I don't really like love the materials and the silhouette itself, but they have tried to do other iterations of a ZX uh, with some boost in it, but there's been nothing that hits like this hits. And I think that the story that goes with it is real important because you have ZX being really like the big innovator channel for Adidas. You know, a lot came out of that. A lot of their history that they still celebrate today came from that era, the rave culture, sport culture, street sport lifestyle this all happened with zx and this is exactly what happened with ultra boost where it was you know built for performance and then was adapted to lifestyle because you don't have to separate the two if you make really cool stuff for sport lifestyle will gravitate towards it and it'll work for both parties i swear i swear this works adidas you've proved this to yourselves over and over authentic goes a long way and um that's why this shoe is really exciting to me you know zx i believe the first one that had the torsion system so you wouldn't have torsion and torsion was a huge is and was still a huge innovation for adidas it's in a lot of their shoes a lot of basketball stuff running and then a foam midsole i mean the fact that they put a foam they put a foam midsole in a zx in the zx they implemented boost midsoles not boost midsoles. They put a foam midsole in a zx it's kind of the beginning of foam midsoles and you know look at us now it's a fully foam boated out midsole and people like me are addicted to more and more boost and just wanting it and i, I love that this came on the 1.0s because it it shows just like a classic marriage and it's just perfect i think this is a perfect uh release with adidas shout out to packers for those and i think this shit's super sick i don't know if you gotta decide which colorway which one you're gonna get but um yeah, it was really nice. And now I got three pairs. Brand new Ultras to rock, baby. What is there complaint about? the vlog that you came home so just for documentation purposes
and proving that you're alive in your home yeah. and that I'm the best boyfriend in the world. Because for the first time in 10 years you got me flowers? It's not the first time in 10 years I got you flowers. It's the first time in 10 years that you, you didn't even pick them I up. I didn't, didn't pick them out or pay for them, Jay did. Yeah. It was just my idea. Um, I'm a muse, Alex, you know? But I get you flowers all the time. Because I buy them with your money. That's still me getting you flowers. That's still me getting you flowers. Dun, dun, dun. Look at these. Yeah. Long day of work. I went home to some unreleased Ooh. shoes. Who's got hookup? <laughs> yeah. yeah, perks of. <laughs> it pays to be friends with an asshole. <laughs> oh, it's winning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ZX8000. I have to school you on in the whole thing, so. Yeah, you can go to work and school everybody. All right. Oh man, the store. crush these two. Get to wear them tomorrow to the, the hypest store in town. Nah, I got tomorrow. No! Right.